Okay, happy time zones. Crafty here with another episode of Rise of the Pack. I'm so enjoying this pack now. Whilst I was in between episodes, so excuse me while I'm munching some salad, I got some feedback from Crazy About Maths that I really should put some wind sails on. So let's do that. Um, I need to be on the outside, don't I? And I should have brought some blocks with me to do this, I think. Ouch! What shot at me? Oh, and we have zombies too, so... This is not going to end well, is it? zip up here mob infested anyway let's get this done Okay, so um, do we not just right click on them is what I thought. right quickie that's what I thought there we go See, I'll just put these on. Apparently, they work better. So, let's give that a go. Some baddies out tonight because I didn't sleep. Oh, well, I'll have to deal with him when I get down. You can 
see they go faster when you put them on so that's pretty cool Right, that's that done. <coughs> oh, there's a cat. <coughs> Got all those red dots on my mini map. So there, the cells have been busy happening. I've got four stacks now, so I'm not going to run out of food anytime soon, which is good. Okay. Tells me I'm so nice. Look like I've all these goodies.
that looks good now. Very good indeed. Right, what else are we going to do today? Let's have a look at our quest because I'm sure we've got some we can claim. Still can't get that one though, and I don't know why. Okay. Munch on a little bit of salad. Replant these because I'm guessing they were dug up. Yep, and there we go. with me. There we go. Right. Put this in. Right, what do we want to work on today? What else have we got here though? After the middle. Auto ores. Okay. Are we up to making one of these though? Void miner. Uh, let's have a look. Minor controller tier one. Controller tier one. Mm, where do we get those from? Oh, okay, lime dye flint. Okay. Right, let's get on with making our void miner now um, and the bits for that quest. So let's go void. I'm going to make it tier 1. I'll make this one a clear one. Brown, green, red. Alright, let's do it this way then. Now let's do the laser core while we're here. We need some of these first. Um, we might make twelve just to get us rocking and rolling. So there's our laser core. Now we have to make some structural. Yes. But I can't remember how many we needed to make. I don't think I've got enough things here at the moment to make what was required. Now yeah, it's in here that we have the gold. Down. There's our gold. Yeah, we needed 20. Oh, we need two laser cores. Okay, well, let's get this. Structural panels done. Wow, we're still a fair way off, aren't we? Yeah. 
10, 20, so we need more of these. Oh, so we've got that, only got that much iron, right? Iron is what we need. I thought I had everything, but alas, I don't. Um, oh, mid note, we're going to have to spend some time and smelt some up. That's okay. Let's just go over here and see if we've got any. Oh, there's some iron. Ah, oh, there's some iron. That'll do us. That'll see us out of out of strife. Well, let that other stuff smelt up. It won't go astray. And so now let's um, let's make these now. How it went. I can't remember. That was a bit silly trying to do that without remembering. Alright, now we should be. There we go, there's our 20, but we need another laser core. Um, laser core. Alright, there's our second laser core. Um, what else do we need in that? Tier 1 structure frame. Okay, so like I was saying, it's a national day of action against bullying and violence um, to stand together between communities and school students and the like. The statistics are scary. You know, we know one in four students report being bullying and one in five do it online by being bullied online. It's devastating and it's lifelong. You know, it affects people for the rest of their lives. I was bullied as a child and at school and through no fault of my own, but I still remember those days and that ill feeling and not wanting to go to school because I didn't want to be made fun of anymore. So it's a little, like the slogan is bullying no way, you know, and it's making sure people understand that they have a way and a voice, they just need to use it. Okay, so now can we make our void oil? Yay, we got there. Whoop whoop. So yeah, it's you know for me it's talking to my children. I have one of my children, he is a victim of being bullied. Um, in primary school but not in high school because we gave him his defence armour in primary school and a superpower. And his superpower was to ignore them and they soon went away. As soon as he stopped integrating with them and communicating and reacting to them, they gave up because they were getting nothing out of it. You know, they just got nothing out of it anymore. But not every student has the ability to develop that superpower. Luckily, part of his medical disability of autism is that he doesn't care what other people think and it's such a beautiful um, thing to have that it didn't bother him that he was being bullied he didn't care what they thought he didn't he didn't have that longing for acceptance he was happy to be left alone and on his own but I just want to make sure that you know as a parent what I actually do with my kids is I listen to them and I do so calmly and get the full story and I take notes and it annoys my kids that I take notes but I take notes for a reason and that's so I can keep track of the story because generally when my children are telling me a story about being a bully being bullied or being victimized it jumps backwards and forwards between oh this happened and then that happened oh hang on but before that first thing happened this happened so 
I do. I take. I'm a bit of a note taker, but I'm also a list maker. That's just one of my personality quirks. I always reassure my kids that they're not to blame. It's not a weakness on their behalf. It's actually the weakness of the bully that um, they have the issue that they're not getting the help that they need. Um, yeah, so that's what I that's what I do with my kids. Um, I also because they're now all in high school, um, so they're all older than twelve. My youngest is about to turn 13 in June, so that'll make me having all teenage children. But I ask them what they want to do about it. What help can I give them? Does it require a visit to the school? Does it require just an email to a teacher that we have in confidence? There's also another thing that my, my school uses, and it's called Stymie. And Stymie is an anonymous way for the kids to report bullying to the school. It's anonymous because they don't take the details of the kids, they don't take their IP addresses, they don't take their phone numbers, but they have a safe place to go. Well, hang on, I can see Georgie over here is being bullied by Freddie. You know, this is what I've seen happen. So that way they don't get the tag of being a diva dobber and getting beaten up and bullied and have violent things happen to them because they stood up for something that wasn't right. My eldest child is currently being a little bit bullied at school. He's got it well in hand at the moment though. So I'm letting him deal with it. He's 16 in April. So he knows what he wants to do with it, you know. Have I contacted the school? Absolutely. Give them the heads up of what's going on and they're quite happy to see how it plays out too. It's just for me, you know, it, it's hard. Now, but bullying is anything you don't like, you know, and information is the key. Teaching our children that it's not okay to be spoken down to, picked on, made feel uncomfortable, made feel uneasy, tormented, mentally, physically, you know, it's, it's time that we all stood together and there is no quick fix, you know, we want to do something. But the only way to do something is to speak up and say, hey, you're not being nice to me and I deserve to feel safe at school or wherever I am, school, workplace, home, shopping centre, street. We should all have that, we have that basic right to feel safe no matter where we are. And further with technology, there's no off switch. When I went to school, the bullies stayed at school and that's the only place they could bully me because they didn't see me outside of school. But they saw me in school for that six hours and that six hours a day was torture. But I could go home and forget about them, turn them off and do my thing at home. The kids today don't have that option unless they turn off their, their internet and their connection to the, the World Wide Web. But then there's other ways of getting them. They drive past my house. You know, they, they, we live in the main street of town so everyone comes past our house. There is no hiding for my kids if they have an issue. And that's a sad indictment on society. That my children can't go to and from school without somebody saying something about something else. They're not the only ones. Lots of people are bullied. And it's sad. And it's wrong. And it shouldn't happen. You know, annoyingly though, the school doesn't do as much as it could. A lot of it now is because they're all teenagers. Well, that's the matter for the police to handle. So there's this pushing and pulling. And you go to the police and they turn around and say, no, that's something the school should be dealing with. And here we are as parents and families stuck in no man's land between one, one authority telling us it's not our jurisdiction, it's this person, it's that jurisdiction, and vice versa. So we're stuck in the middle of this yo-yo game. That needs to stop. The school needs to stand up and do something. The police need to come in when it's required. If it's violence, so is it assault? That sort of thing absolutely involve the police. But if it's a school niggling and taunting in the playground or the schoolyard, that's the responsibility of the school to stop. And I don't believe in suspension and sending them home for school for X amount of days is the answer. That gets them out of the school's hair. But that brings it back to the parents and that costs the parents time off work, 
for an incident that may not be their children's fault. And all they've done is react because they've been pushed to the point where they can't do anything else other than to push back. Anyway, I just don't like bullies. I don't like any of those sorts of things. Now, I have no idea how to set up this environmental tech. Do you feel like it? Do we have a book? <laughs> Do we have some help for crafty? Hmm. I don't see a book. Okay, this might be a little bit of a pain in the bum to work out. So what have we got? We've got structure frame, we've got a laser core. We don't need the black concrete, but we do need the structural panel. Hmm. Why can't these things come with a book? I don't even have any information on their tab okay i'll be back with you got power and everything else so until next time hurry